Hey guys, welcome back. So here we are on my Nvidia Shield Pro. And as I mentioned in my previous video, which was regarding the SSD drive, the super fast SanDisk Extreme SSD drive upgrade, that we can actually partition the drive. Uh, let me just kill this guy. That we can actually partition the drive so a certain portion of the drive can be used for the shield for you to install applications for you to migrate applications off the internal storage onto the ssd now the remaining portion can be used as a standard ssd drive so in fact let me just uh let me just stop playing oh and by the way i am actually working on a tutorial on how you can play call of duty mobile on your nvidia shield with no jailbreak so if you guys want to check that out make sure you are subscribed Okay, let me back out of this. Let's now go over to settings. Let's go down to device preferences. I'm going to storage. And there we have it guys. We have two SanDisk USB drives. Now these are both the same physical drive, but it has two logical partitions. One partition is the internal partition. And for that, we can see we have about 50 gigs of space. And then we have removable storage. And for that, we have a 200 gig partition. Now on this partition, if I back out of this, so that 200 gig partition, for example, I can open up VLC. I can now access that external partition and we can see on there, I've got some uh, movies that I've um, previously purchased. So for example, if I want to watch this, I can click on that and that starts playing the movie directly from that SSD drive. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also get a USB drive or an SSD drive, but then partition it so a certain percentage or a certain portion is used for internal storage and the rest of it can be used as a standard USB drive, which you can then use on your PC, use on your Amazon Fire Stick, or really use across any of your devices. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so I've just formatted my SSD drive as NTFS and I've just plugged that back into my shield. Now, as soon as you plug it in, if you go to notifications, if you click on this, I can now browse the drive or I can click on eject. Let's just back out for that. Let's now go over to downloader because we need to download one application from my downloads page, which is the remote ADB shell. Now, if you're confident in doing ADB via your cell phone or via your PC, then you can actually skip a minute of this process. But essentially we're just gonna go to downloader, type in here just TD UK. This is actually the first time I'm doing this, so let's see if that works. Because the new version of Downloader does have this, this Google search feature. Let's click on go. Let's see what we get. There we are, okay, fine. So we can click on the first link. It's close enough. We can now click on the hamburger menu and click on downloads. Scroll down and we can see here, right near the top, we have remote ADB. Let's click on that. Now, the reason why I prefer to do it this way is just to make the process as simple as possible. So we don't have to use any other device. We can do everything on the actual NVIDIA Shield or any Android TV device and just use the standard remote control. So download that from there. Once you've downloaded and installed that, press the home key. Now, before we open Remote ADB Show, we need to actually enable the developer options. Now to do that, if you just go over to settings, go to device preferences, go to about, and just click on the build number seven times. Once you do that, eventually you'll see a message saying that you are now a developer. Let's press back. Let's go down. And we now have the developer options. Let's click on that. And as I always say, guys, just as a word of warning, if you don't know what you're doing, then I highly recommend you don't make any changes to the developer options because any change in here could potentially have very adverse effects on your device. The only thing we want to do is go down and just make sure that you have network debugging enabled and you can also see your current IP address there once you've done that. So remote ADB shell won't appear in your home row. To access it, you can use another application like side load launcher. Let's click on that. And this will basically show you all of your side loaded applications. Okay, so once you open it, 
Now, because we're making a connection directly to ourselves, we can leave the port number as 127.0.0.1 and the port number is always 5555. Now, if you do want to follow this process from your cell phone or from your PC, you have to enter in the IP address that we saw under the network debugging. But for us, we can just click on connect and here we made a successful ADB connection onto NVIDIA Shield. Now, the first command we're going to type in is just sm space list hyphen disks. And this will basically show you all of the disks that your NVIDIA Shield can see. There we go. And let's click on run. Now what we're actually seeing here, this is actually network storage that I've attached to my Shield. But on your device, if you only have one USB drive or USB stick plugged in, you'll see disk and you'll see an ID. In my case, my disk ID is 8,0. Now we need that number because when you format the drive, you have to give it the disk ID. Now to format the drive, we're going to type in the command sm space partition space disk. And this is the key bit now. So we need to type in disk and then we need to type in colon and then we need to specify the disk ID. And as we mentioned in my example, the disk ID is eight comma zero and then press space. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, the whole point of this is if you do have a large USB drive or a hard drive and you don't want to use all of it for internal storage, how do you actually create that mixed partition? And this is why we now need to type in mixed. Whereas if you want to format the entire drive as internal storage for your applications, for your games, then the command just ends in private. But in our example, because we're going for the mixed partition, we're going to type in mixed. And then you need to enter in a percentage that you want as external storage. And once again, external storage is the storage that you can use on any device. You can move it around. You can use it on your PC, on your Fire Stick, on your Android box. You can use it everywhere. It's the internal storage that you can only use on the Shield or wherever you actually format that drive. So my example, because my drive is 250 gig, I only want to allocate around 50 gig or so for the internal partition. So 20% would be about 50 gig. So here I'm going to type in 80, which once again means that 80% of this drive will be external storage. Let's click on run and let's see if that works first time. Give that a second. You may get a notification that your USB drive is plugged in or plugged back in. Okay, so you see this message, which means that the partitioning process is now completed. Now there's one other command we can type in here just to see the actual partition table of the drives on our shield. And that command is just df space minus h. Let's click on run. Let's press the back button. And there we have it guys, we have this 46 gig partition, which is the expand volume. And that's basically your new internal storage. So right now, if there's any application that I install from the Play Store or from File Linked or from Downloader, all of those applications will now go onto the SSD drive into this 46 gig partition. Now if I press the back button again, and if you go into settings, go to device preferences, go to storage, and we can now see we have two entries for that one physical drive. So two logical partitions, one physical drive. We have 49 gigs for internal storage, for internal applications, where we can install things, move things, all that kind of good stuff. And then we have the 200 gig storage, which once again, we can use on any device with the USB port. Now you can also move applications that you've already installed to your SSD drive. Uh, so for example, go over to settings, go to applications, Let's say for example, I want to move Me Explorer. I can click on that. I can go down, go to storage. We can see right now it's on internal storage, but we now have this 49 gig volume, which is my SSD drive. I can now just click on that. Uh, within a couple of seconds, we've now moved that content off the internal storage onto our SSD drive. So do give a thumbs up for that. Now, one thing I mentioned in my last video, which lots of you did find useful, is you may notice that certain applications, like for example, Disney Plus, if you click on the application, go to storage, we can see it doesn't actually give us any option. I can't actually do anything with that. I don't have the option to move that to my SSD. Let's press the back button. Uh, for example, downloader, if I click on that, go to storage, we can see that the way these applications are written, they just will not install or move to any other storage other than the internal storage.
So how can we fix that? Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members, whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Well, the easiest way to fix that, guys, is once again, go back into developer options, which we can see is inside device preferences. Go to the bottom of this list. Here's developer options. Let's scroll down until we see this. Here we have the option to force applications or force allow apps onto external storage. So even if the application is written or coded where it would only go to the internal storage, enabling this option, we can now force that over. So let's actually test that out. Let's go back out of this. Let's go to Disney. And what happens now when I go to storage? Just like that, we can now move that over to our external storage. So, and that's working absolutely fine. Let's back out of that. And uh, let's also try that with Downloader. Is that going to work? Yes, it is. So I can also now move that over to our new SSD drive. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking about this process on how we can create that multi-partition USB drive. So I do hope you like this video. Also, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing the Call of Duty mobile on the Shield. And I'll see maybe if I can push that up in the schedule. But other than that, guys, really appreciate your support. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.